In this video, we're going to be talking about the Dropbox file request feature, and what that'll do is it'll allow you to send out a file request to one or more people, uh, telling them you need a certain kind of file or multiple files, and that way they could upload these files and they'll be sent right to your Dropbox, and they don't need a Dropbox account to do this. They could just upload them and be done with it, and you'll have the files. So what you want to do is from your Dropbox window here, you want to go to File Requests, and then you want to do a new request, and you'll see your open request and close requests if you have some here. So here's one from before. It tells you the number of submitters that it was sent to, or actually people who actually submitted files. You might have 10 people you sent it to, and this will tell you how many of that 10 have submitted files and the number of files. And then you can come here and copy a link if you want to send this request to somebody else or share it, edit it, or close the request. And then once you close it, it'll be in your closed request here. Actually, might have to refresh. Okay, now we have nothing open. All right, so we're going to do a new request here. So, um, so summer reports, and you could set a deadline if you have the pro version, extra uh, features if you want, or actually I say extra description if you want. And then this is where it's going to go by default into your file request folder, but you could change that to have it to want to go to any other folders. And then you click on create. And then you can type in the names or email addresses for the people you want to send it to. So we're going to send one to Cindy here. And then one to support or help. And then you could add a message again. Or you could share a link if you don't want to send them an email. You could just copy and paste this link and send it in your own email. But we're going to click on share here. Okay. So now we have this open file request. And there's been two files. Okay, that's something different. Okay, so if we go to Cindy here, first of all. Okay, so here's the first request. Please send me your summary reports. And then when she opens it, you can just click on upload files. And just click on Add Files. You could browse or you could drag them right here. So I have both of these people are going to do from the same computer. But here's Cindy's report here. So we'll just drag it and click on Upload. Okay, so that's done. And then we'll do the same thing here. Okay, so this time we'll actually click on the Add Files button. So you could do files for computer, folders for computer, or if you have a Dropbox account that you're logged into, you could do, you know, copy them right from your Dropbox account right into this uh, file request. So we'll click on Files from Computer. And we'll do Support. And now, since this person is not a Dropbox user, it wants to know who you are because the first one we sent to Cindy, she was a Dropbox user and logged in, so it's automatically going to know that her files that she sent came from her. So... So we'll do this and upload. Okay, so that's done. So now we'll go back to our Dropbox here. If we click on that, it'll take us right to this folder, Dropbox file requests. So here's our file request folder. And here's it makes a folder based on the name of your request. And so here's, here's our two files here. So it puts the name. So since Cindy was a Dropbox user and logged in, it put her name and her file name there. And then you'll notice on this one, um, we just put in the name and email address here. So that's why it shows up as just support, not as the username. So once again, from your Dropbox menu, go to File Requests. And then you'll see any open and closed file requests you have. You can just make a new request here uh, at the... Uh, description or name of what kind of files you want, add their email addresses, send it off, and then they'll submit their files. And then you come back here and you can see who's responded and how to, you know, like I said, we sent it out to two and two submitted. So that's 100% there. And then you have your options here to copy the link to send it to somebody else or share it, edit the file request itself or close it out when it's done. Pretty simple. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.